I'm Jim Collison and live from the Gallup campus here in Omaha, Nebraska and from the offices in Singapore. This is Gallup's Call to Coach, Southeast Asia edition with special guest Jason Ho, recorded on November 10th, 2013. Call to Coach is a resource for those who help want, want to help others discover and use their strengths. We have Gallup experts and independent strengths coaches share tactics, insights, and strategies to help coaches maximize the talent of individuals, teams, and organizations around the world. If you have questions or comments or contributions during the show, we do have a chat room available right below the video window, or if you're listening to the recorded version, you can email those questions to us after the show at coaching at gallup.com. And don't forget to visit the Gallup Strength Center. It's real easy, just gallupstrengthcenter.com for all your coaching resources and training needs. You can also catch the video in both streaming or downloadable audio for offline listening to past shows over at coaching.gallup.com. Sarva Tree is our host today. Sarva works as a director of talent sourcing uh, with our Gallup Singapore office. And Sarva, it's great to see you this evening and good afternoon. I guess it's good morning to you. How are you? And welcome to Call the Coach. Thank you so much, um, JM. You know, uh, it is a beautiful morning today. It's you know, clear skies today. Uh, and yeah, we are super excited to be back up for our second Southeast Asia edition for Call to Coach. And today we've got one of our one of the most passionate um, strengths coaches in the region that we have. Um, you know, Jason Ho. You know, it's it's a privilege to introduce to him. Uh, you know, Jason is one of the first Gallup certified strengths coaches in Singapore, and he's a super strong advocate of strengths-based development not only in Singapore, but also he's been connecting with new and aspiring coaches in Australia and helping them chart out their paths to success. So, you know, it's a privilege to have him. He's also a founder and an executive director for his, for his organization, Strength Advisory, which specializes in utilizing a strength-based approach towards industry productivity. Um, just in terms of experience, he has over 3,000 hours of personal development coaching and corporate experience in training, development, and performance coaching for company staff. Um, and it, like I said, he uses um, Clifton Strength Finder and strength-based development to help these organizations grow. I mean, he's also a practicing management consultant certified from the Singapore Business Advisors and Consultants Council. Uh, but what's most exciting about Jason is, you know, again, like I said, his passion for strength. And, you know, uh, I'll let him talk about, you know, his, his uh, top five, starting off with that, and, you know, what his vision for the strength movement in the region is. So without further ado, you know, introducing to you Jason Ho, um, you know, at the Singapore Southeast Asia edition for Call to Coach. Jason. Hi guys. Hi guys. Thanks a so lot. Um, it's great to be here. It's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I'm honored. I've been taking so much from Call to Coach. I want to give back. And um, I'll just start off my top five. My top five is ideation, strategic, adaptability, relater, and self-assurance. So uh, when, when Sarov was saying that I'm, I'm really passionate, I, I have a certain goal in my mind that um, I think blew him away. <laughs> I understand that the Gallup wants to get one billion people certified, uh, uh, one billion people taking the strengths test. I personally, in my life, I would like to, I have a goal, and my goal is one million people that I have directly influenced strengths, strengths-wise. So that is something that I'm, and I'm, I'm actually, taking notes and I'm actually putting out a list so that I really am quite clear of where I am and how many more years I have to go. I probably take a two decades to do this, <laughs> but well, it's worth it. I think um, I've seen so much, um, so many eyes light up that, that you can't take, I, money can't buy that and, and I just want to, to be able to push that out that so many people out there don't know their strengths and as coaches out there, you guys are doing such a fantastic job. Uh, just, just turning on the lights where, where the room was dark. So, so that's me. Um, Jason, uh, just in terms of your uh, you know, strengths journey, you know, tell us a little bit more about uh, you know, how did you start off as a strengths coach? Okay, so for my journey, I actually started, I think, 20 years ago. When I was, when I was young, I was always in self-help sections, every kind of bookshop from, from Borders, MPH, all that. So I was always there reading and reading about self-help. How do I improve myself? How do I improve other people? What is productivity all about? How do I actually... Uh, take out what's inside human potential and bring it to somewhere that it's just glorious. And I realized that after a while, and I was reading and reading, there were just, everything fell into some four domains that I actually found out. The art of, the art of actually influencing, influencing other people, the art of executing. Oh, you've got to make a list. You've got to, every day you wake up, you've got to make a list and you've got to do that. And also the art of strategic thinking, oh, like six thinking hats and all that. And then lastly, the art of making friends. What I realized is that those don't really apply to everyone. 
that self-help section needs a strength coach to be standing there to say that, oh, your top five is this. You would do very well with these. So I've, so once I've actually went through that and uh, all the self-help, uh, all the I went to so many seminars about NLP and all that, and finally I went to Strengths Finder coach, uh, the accelerated coaching session. I was like amazed because I know I finally found it. I finally found something that's so personal to a person that that I uh, it just it just blew my mind. And I'm I'm since then I've been an advocate. I've been seeing things like for example for my clients if they want to buy a book I'll I'll look at their top five. Uh, or top ten and see okay which book is good for you don't 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 focus on your weaknesses focus on your dominant strengths and you'll be so so much better than that so that's for me and um, so six years ago I first did my strengths test and uh, since then I was waiting and waiting I was emailing Gallup when is your coaching session I want to go when is, when are you gonna be coming out with a accelerated coaching or whatever I wanted to be part of the community I wanted to be in the forefront and it's the first the very, very first session came out early this year, and I'm there. <laughs> I flew all the way to Omaha just for that. <laughs> yeah, so that's for me, and I, I really enjoy it. Um, I, I, I continue to enjoy it, and I, I, I think uh, for me, the uh, main thing for me is like I, I like to say that there are two questions in life, always two questions that you have to answer. One is, why am I here on Earth for these short 80 years? And the other question is, um, who am I? And it's very difficult to answer that if you don't know your strengths. Who am I is such an important question that everybody must know. And if you don't know that, you're going to be walking through life always assuming. That's, a, that's not a nice feeling to have. Awesome on that. Uh, I'm Jason. I think that's so fantastic to really know who am I as a person. And you know, with Clifton Strength Finder, it really helps you unlock your potential by first you know, naming, aiming, and claiming. Uh, uh, it right. Just in terms of you know, since we have so many coaches from worldwide locked in, and you know they are looking some tips uh, or tricks, the tray that you use, you know, in your successful career as a coach. So tell us a little bit more about you know what are some of the techniques that you use in your coaching conversations uh, with senior executives, you know, uh, across the industries that you coach. All right, great question. I feel that um, most of the time at the start. Uh, there is this thing called buy-in that, that some people really need because they've done DISC, they've done MySpace and all that, they've done so many assessments, they're like, oh, strength is just going to be another one. But I realized that uh, how to be effective as a coach, you need to them to have that buy-in, them to say that, okay, so, so what's so good about this? So what I ask always is, describe to me, Mr. Client, describe to me what is your top, what is your top 10 things that you do well or what are the things that you, you do good? Excellent. Ten things. And most of the time they'll be like, um, I think it's, uh, I'm responsible, uh, I think I'm a bit, of cre uh, a bit of creative and all that. But they probably stop at three or four. And that's when you come in as a strengths coach to say that that's, that's the entire idea. You don't know what you're good at. And the only way you know what you're good at is if you, number one, if you have really good friends that keep giving you feedback. or Number two is actually, which is so much clearer, you just take the test. Take the assessment and you know it. And, and once that happens, they, they get that buy-in. And that buy-in is so crucial at the start of your coaching. And from then on, they will hear what you say with, with a lot more weight than if you just went straight into, okay, let's go into your strengths. So, so that's one question I really love to ask. The second question I love to ask is, how do these strengths come alive to you on a daily basis? Or, or I like to ask, what's the quirks that you that, that comes out in terms of these strengths? Or for, for example, somebody in empathy, oh, I always cry. <laughs> I always cry in a movie and everything like that. So for people with individual, individualization, they like to do this game called profiling. You know, like a spy, they like to profile, oh, this guy is from where? He's from this country. So I think he's this work. So I like these because they, it comes alive to them. And the main thing that you need to do is to make sure that those strengths go deep inside their DNA. And that's how you do it. That's how I do it uh, when I'm coaching people. Excellent. Um, yeah, absolutely, right? The greatest potential in people lies in areas where they're good at, right? So focus on things that you're naturally good at and become the world's best in it. So very valuable advice there. Also share some stories about, you know, when you had coached people, you know, how, how did it impact their lives? You know, when we talked about that, you know, um, uh, it really helps them open, uh, you know, as a person and, you know, unlocks their potential. How do you go about, you know, doing that and, you know, share a story about it? 
Okay, I have, I have a story. My, I, have a, I have a client that I was coaching and he has uh, intellection and all his relational strengths are really, really low. So he, he's like a robot. He doesn't feel much, but he can process things really well. So he doesn't like it when people say, hey, you think too much. Don't think anymore. So he doesn't like it that way. And, and what happened was that he needed, he was in sales, so he needed to connect in a, in a way that, that to the clients that, that they really feel him. So what I did was this thing called strength innovation, using his top strengths to overcome his, his weaknesses. And I like to give this analogy of, of a bat. A bat has excellent hearing but poor eyesight. So uh, the top five for the bat is hearing, <laughs> and the last few is uh, eyesight in terms of he, if a bat did strength. So he overcomes his need for looking around with echolocation. And echo echolocation just uses his hearing. And that's how we can overcome it. And that's what I did for him. So for my, for my client, he, I asked him to, instead of just thinking about, oh, this is A and this is B, and this is the outcome I want to have, I go into this thing called strengths innovation where he thinks about, he, he keeps going to this circle here called, what does that person feel? He keeps thinking about that. What does that person feel? How, do I, how does he feel when I do this? What is, how does he react? What would he feel when I, when, I, when I say this to him? And by that, he's able to feel that empathy and that connection with that person. And it just blew, my, blew his mind. He's like, oh my goodness, that, that's, how, that's how I connect with people. Because for him, he was always an inclusive person. He didn't know. And that really, really blew his mind. Another time when I was talking, so because I coach, uh, I coach, I coach CEOs, managers, directors, all the way to even pastors and even uh, students. So, so there was one time a CEO was, um, I was coaching a CEO of MNC, and then he was like, uh, once we did all this coaching and all that, he's like, and he found out about his, his, his team strengths. So he's like, oh man, now I understand. It, I know I understand why they behave this way, and I'm, it's so much more effective when I talk to them. And the whole level of communication as a team and as a board goes higher just because you understand that person, you appreciate that person's strengths, you honor that person as he is, and you don't feel that, hey, you don't feel that the weaknesses that you previously had or some of the tension that you had, it just dissipates away because you know that it is because of its strength. So these are the two, two ones that I really enjoy, and I, and I, I just look forward to more and more stories. I, I, I'm very religious about testimonials, so I just keep having it. I just keep putting it up on my website and website. So those people who want to have a look at it, uh, that's, uh, you can look at the testimonials and you can see that that is the power of Strength Finder coaching. Thank you, uh, Jason. Yes, absolutely, right? You know, the power of testimonials. And you can actually uh, even look at Jason's profile. He's one of the first few coaches to be on our coaches directory uh, at gallopstrengthcenter.com. Uh, so that's fantastic. Um, also, Jason, you, you, I, I heard you talk about you know your, the, how you coach people on strengths uh, using you know the team grid, uh, the, yeah. working with teams. Tell me a little bit more about your experience of going through the accelerated uh, strengths coaching program, and you know how uh, how did that help you with you know coaching with teams? Because that's something which was fairly different from you know when you started off earlier doing individual coaching. Yeah, that's right. So for for team coaching, um, what I learned from Basically, when I went for the course, it was really mind-blowing. There are many things that you can go so deep into it. After somebody takes the test, they feel that that's all, but it's actually not all. There's so much more. So for teams and manager coaching, it's something that it, blows, it, it blows the mind of the management team because they see uh, the people as champions of their domain. And there are four domains, so executing, uh, relational, uh, um, strategic thinking, and even like um, uh, influencing. So I like to change these, um, these terms into, for example, for influencing, I'll use this term activist. So you are an activist. They, they, get, they get it a lot faster than you say, oh, you have influencing domain. And for people with executing, they are warriors. They like to fight. They like to just do things. People with strategic thinking, they are like, um, they are like either wise men or sage. And lastly, people who love relational, they are like friends. So they, I like to break them up into groups for their domains, and then they, they oh, I'm a warrior. Ah, that's why you're a warrior. I know you're a warrior for, for that, and oh, you're a sage. So when they go together as a domain, and when I use that strengths grid that Gallup, that Gallup provides, it gives a very clear distinction of, hey, oh, um, who can be a champion in relational? And, and you can target that person. Who needs to be the mouthpiece of a new project? And you go to the activists. The activists will say, come on, let's go, let's do it. Uh, who can be the ones that just keep chugging on consistently? 
and those are the warriors and all that. And who starts off the ball? Strategic thinking or the sage. So, so when they see themselves as the identity of a person, oh, I'm a sage, oh, I'm, I'm a warrior, they, they, can, they can tell so much more about that person and everything comes to light from the working experience with them. And they are able to increase their productivity just at the point. So, for example, if I give a workshop, they would be like, oh, let, let's, let's try it on a project. And I think it's very beneficial if you try it on an actual project that you're working now. So this gives a lot of practicality. So they're working on the project and they're like, okay, so um, I need ideation. Who's idea? Okay, you ideation. Come on, tell me, help me, <laughs> help me out. Give me ten ideas. Pam, pam, pam. Oh, I need, I need somebody who. Okay, who's, who's gonna be my mouthpiece? Okay, you're gonna be. So they do this uh, on the spot, and I, it's great satisfaction to see them. They work, they work so much better as a team. You don't see those diff you see all those differences just melt away, and you see that respect and honor just coming up, and, and that's a beautiful feeling. I think you said it so nicely as well. And when you look at people, right, you know, right from childhood, we've been told that you should become well-rounded individuals. But ultimately, right now, what you're looking at is you should become specialists of what you are because you can't be everything in the world. It's better to put it, you know, be of more of who you are than trying to be something that you're not. So I think that's a fantastic, you know, story on that, uh, Jason. Just in terms of, you know, looking at your strengths as well, ideation, you know, I know you have some wonderful ideas and we've been, you know, uh, harnessing those ideas, you know, and building yeah. our own uh, ecosystem for um, the Gallup Strength Center and also uh, the, the, uh, at locally Singapore, the, the uh, Gold Coach, uh, as well as the, the wall of fame that you're building up. So thank you so much for sharing all those ideas with us and it's been fantastic. Um, I can't just help it. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me a question, I have to give 10 ideas. <laughs> Well, oh, keep them coming, keep them coming. We just love it here. Um, also, just in terms of, uh, you know, uh, because we have some new coaches, some experienced coaches who are locked in live right now, you know, what advice would you offer since you're running your own coaching business? You know, um, what advice would you offer them to help them develop their coaching business and de develop themselves as coaches? I think um, for coaching, especially for adults, it's very different from from children or teens because there's this thing called adult learning and then adults don't like to be told what they should do. Um, I, I don't know, it's just that and I feel that you just work around that, you work around that uh, in a way that you teach them in a way that they advise themselves. So I feel that personally for me self-advisory is the best advisory. They can see things that you would not see. So. How you would coach is, uh, even though for me strategic and ideation comes on and I say, okay, I think you can do this, 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 this. I try to hold back a lot and I, I try to ask him, so how would you use your top five strengths or how would you use this strength to overcome what your challenge is? So when they come up with their solutions, the thing is for adult learning, they own it. And when they own it, it's a very different way, uh, a different, very different feeling from you telling them because they have, they, they accomplish something. And, and it's those little wins that they have in their coaching session that they feel so alive and after that they'll be like, oh my goodness, that's the best. That's the best coaching session I've ever had. So, so adult learning is one thing. And I think uh, as a coach, we, we should never, ever, ever be stagnant. We should always be improving and improving. And the only way to improve is feedback. You need to keep asking for feedback. How did I do just now? What could have improved? How do, I, how do you think that? How do you think that session went? Could it be shorter? Should it be longer? And that, that's when you come to something very comfortable. You come to your mean, and then you, you, just, you just continue growing from there. So I think that for coaching, when you start off, continue learning and, and never stop learning about it. Always ask for feedback and testimonials. And that way you, you, you only, not only affirm yourself, but you affirm the whole coaching that, okay, I need to do this, I need to improve. So in 10 years' time, you should be a very different coach than now. Great. So uh, just in terms of an example, like I said, you know, there are new coaches as well who will dial in. So share your experience of, you know, um, you initially talked about team coaching, but what about individual coaching? You know, how do you go about with coaching individuals? And, you know, um, how has the course equipped you with any tools, materials to be able to do it more effectively? Okay, so for, for individuals, I feel that when they come in, they see that strengths, they see it as a... That, okay, I have top five strengths and that's it. Uh, but they don't see the permutations within there and the permutations are so beautiful. I love to give analogies because I'm, I have ideation. <laughs> so I like to say that, for example, these two strengths is, um, is like a blue color, blue color strength and a red color strength. But if you mix it together, it's a purple color strength. It's a totally different strength because the beauty of purple 
it's so different from just a standalone, and you can mix it around. And and when they see that, they see that they are equipped so much more, and they see that um, for individuals especially, they want to be able to use their top five in a way that they can do it actively every day. So sometimes they will use three, sometimes they will use two, and how how that dynamics between two strengths together, uh, they they actually see it because they own it and they have been doing it for the last 10, 20, 30 years. And when they own it, they are able to be productive almost immediately because when they see it, they say, oh, okay, I need to be in that same place. They, I need to be in that same mindset. Okay, I need to use my that, my that strength and this strength. So I'm going to approach this question or build, approach this challenge with those. So for individuals, they are, they are very much into, uh, it's very much into owning it yourself. And once you own it uh, and I like to ask them to give examples. How would you solve your situation right now? And they will say, and they will tell you. And when they tell you, they own it, and it comes back to the adult learning, and and it's beautiful because they see those strengths and these things, these two strengths working together. Those are called team dynamics, and those team dynamics really help in terms of uh, they seeing that I don't have five, I actually have ten, because A B A C A D and all that. So you have actually ten different permutations, and they see it so much more, and they say like, oh man, I'm so equipped to conquer the world right now. <laughs> the power of strength finder as a tool and you know the great dawn million people to have the same top five. So that just shows how unique each one of us. Clifton, you know what he did was just phenomenal in, in terms of bringing this tool to life and it's helping so many individuals worldwide. Uh, and now we are almost, you know, we've crossed 9.5 million. It was surprising just last week. You know, we were doing our breakfast session here, and uh, it was 9.4 million, uh, 9.4, you know, uh, roughly there, uh, just you know, a week ago, and just kind of shooting up numbers. We are super excited about this. We, we are looking forward to the 10 million, uh, and you know, that's that's going to be a big stepping stone towards hitting that 1 billion mark. And this is a movement that's already started, and a big revolution is already on. So you know, you can choose to get on later, or you can choose to get on now, and you know, uh, be part of something more magical, something bigger than yourselves. And you know, this is going to be life changing for a lot of us. And you know, you each one of you have an opportunity, you know, people who dial in live or watching this, you know, post in to be part of this, uh, to you know make difference in people's lives. We are bringing this to Singapore. Our first course is from November twenty fifth till the November twenty ninth. And we have very few slots open uh, for, for enrollment. So you know if you want to if you want to um, enroll for the course, you can write to us at coaching um, at the rate gallup.com or go on our website www.gallupstrengthcenter.com and sign up for the course straight away. Um, you know, on that, Jim, do you have any questions for Jason? Yeah, we do. Actually, David and Eugene Oregon uh, asked this question. He said, Jason, typically, uh, how do you typically structure a client engagement? Uh, so, in terms of the process? Yeah. Okay. So, basically, for, for me, I will always go to three points. One point is the, the introduction in terms of what they have. I will basically ask them the questions about um, what they find in terms of their strengths, what, what, what stands out, what doesn't stand out. Uh, draw a line on where, where you feel it's the dominant. Draw a line where you feel it's, um, it's the weaknesses and things like that. So that's on the first part. First part is all about introducing in terms of their strengths and all that. The second part, which is the main bulk of it, is I want them to share with me their peak experience, their top, top excellence. Uh, uh, top levels of excellence they have in their life. Could be from really young to now. Uh, so I, I just want to ask them to share with me and uh, I want them specifically don't look at the strengths, don't look at the strengths paper that they have. Don't look at the 34. Just share with me from, from your heart. And they share a few examples and, uh, and, and, the sec and at the end of that I would, I would pick up and, and I'll link all the strengths that they have, the top 10 strengths, to those experiences. And that's when they really own it. After that, I'll go into the which is to now, which is their, which is the challenges they have right now. And when that happens, they use their strengths that they have. They already have their confidence because they had so much experience being in peak performance by using their strengths that they. When they see the new challenge they have, they own it and they say, that, "No problem, I can do it." And so I, I, I help them in terms of using their top top strengths to go about. So I ask these questions like, how do you use your strengths to challenge, to, to face those challenges right now? They'll give me solutions and all that. I will definitely connect them, connect the dots for them using my strategic and ideation. So that's how I usually structure my engagement for clients. Very good, Jason. Um, I usually do at the end of the Accelerated Strengths Training uh, Program, we've just started doing these coaching testimonials. We, we probably would have interviewed you. You were here in Omaha. I want to yeah, ask well, you, uh, how was the training here in Omaha? Maybe give us a highlight of the, the week that you spent here. 
Oh, I, I was fantastic. I, I was there. I, I <laughs> um, Omaha was Omaha was nice, and I think the highlight for for that was really to to go deep into the coaches themselves. I feel that um, to have one billion people, you need people fired up, and you need coaches fired up. And when the coaches were firing up their own testimony of how they want to change the world, how they want to to be able to be that that person that throws that starfish back to <laughs> Uh, back to the the ocean, I, that that was priceless for me because when you see so many people so fired up with strengths, you know that you are part of that community. And when you are part of that community, you know that if you need help, you can always ask. And Gallup has been great at giving support. They've been fantastic. Thank you so much, Sarah, for everything. You've been supporting me all this while. So I think that that's the highlight. When you go there, when you are when you're packed in this room uh, with 20 people who all fired up for strengths, you you see. You automatically open your eyes to a new domain that hey, we can really change the world, and that that's something that I don't think you can do anywhere else. Very cool. It's always great to talk to you guys after the training is over because you're all fired up. You, know, you talk yeah. about getting fired up. The best interviews I get to do are those ones right after the training is over, and so it's just always exciting for me to be able to do that each time we do that. Just a reminder, if you wanted to take advantage of the training, at gallopstrengthcenter.com, there's a whole list, not just uh, Singapore and Omaha, but we have them available in Washington, D.C., and Irvine and Sydney, Australia, if you want to. I think that's the one I'm going to take, is in Sydney, Australia. i got to find, find a way to weasel my into that, way into that training. And uh, all the training is scheduled out. I think we're out till uh, March or April now at this point out at Gallup Strength Center. Dot com. Thanks, guys, for doing this. I will as we wrap up the show here. Jason, don't go anywhere because we'll stay around for a little bit of post-show, maybe just some informal questions from some folks that didn't get them into the chat room right away. But uh, we want to remind folks to take full advantage of all the resources we have available out there at the Strength Center. Super easy, gallopstrengthcenter.com, and send us your questions or comments out at coaching.gallop.com. You can also catch the recorded audio and video of the show and all the past ones out at coaching.gallop.com. We are looking for guest bloggers as our coaching blog. So if you go out there at uh, coaching.gallop.com, you'll see that every other week or so we have a guest coach come in and do a guest blog. If you think you want to be one of those writers, we are taking global writers around the world. If you're interested in submitting uh, for post consideration, you can just contact us through the, the, the coaching email, coaching at gallop.com and uh, put guest blogger in the subject line. We also have a form available on the front of the coaching site too. If you go to that same website, it says more information about how to become a coach, and uh, you can just fill out that form. Actually, that comes right to me as well, and I will pick that up, and uh, one of my jobs is to make sure the guest bloggers get in, so we'd like to hear from you. If you've got an idea, something you'd like to share, let us know. But Jason, we want to thank you. Jason Ho, we want to thank you for coming out uh, this morning and our evening here in the United States. Appreciate you and all that you're doing, and good luck in everything that you're doing. Thanks for coming out. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me so much. Thanks. You bet. This will wrap up uh, Call to Coach Southeast Asia edition. Sarv, are we, do we have another one lined up at this point? I always ask Jeremy that question of what's coming up next when we do the U.S. version, but I certainly we're going to keep doing this, right? Oh, absolutely. This is something which we've started off, and you know, it's like I said, the movement has started, and this is just you know, um, small steps we're taking uh, to, to really you know, uh, go to that pinnacle um, of one billion people. And you know, I, I didn't gallop, right? You know, like I said, it's such a wonderful organization, you know, when we look at coaches, it's not just that we want them to get trained on this and be independent in itself, right? Yes, you know, you have your full authority, but we want to provide the entire support system for them to take it to the next level. We really are committed to you know, provide all the support that we can locally as well as internationally to create a whole ecosystem for them so that they can become successful at what they do uh, and they have you know, all the support, the resources needed um, to help people unlock their potential. You know, uh, we we all committed to making a big difference in the world one person at a time, right? You no, know, but we all in this together to make that one big difference. So this is a start of something great, and you know we 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 are expected to have another call to coach coming up soon. So we'll we'll send introductions for that, the invitations for that fairly quickly, and you know you'll see that again. You know all the new coaches that are coming on, um, they'll get an opportunity to be on this. Uh, you know uh, with, with their passion and, and help other coaches worldwide learn from their experiences and you know be part of this wonderful community. So. Thank you, Jim, for initiating this. This is just a wonderful platform for coaches to come on and you know make a difference to other people's lives, you know, uh, and uh, in, in themselves as well in just um, being able to share those experiences. So thank you so much for this. You're you're very welcome. Stay around for the post show. Some more questions and your comments live chat. For that, we'll say good morning, good afternoon, or good night to wherever okay. you're at in the world watching this. Goodbye, everyone.